Welcome to Introductory Statistics using SPSS Second Edition. This video shows how to process the piercing correlation and regression. You can watch the entire video or use the time slider to navigate directly to any time point. Correlation and regression analysis computes the nature of the relationship between two continuous variables. The relationship can be characterized using two parameters, direction and strength. The regression ranges between negative 1 and positive 1. The regression sign indicates the direction of the correlation. Positive correlations occur when the variables move in the same direction. When x goes up, y goes up. Or when x goes down, y goes down. Negative correlations occur when the variables move in opposite directions. When x goes up, y goes down. Or when x goes down, y goes up. The regression value indicates the strength of the correlation. Values nearer to negative or positive 1 are stronger than values nearer to 0. To better conceptualize the data, a scatter plot with a regression line is useful. Each point represents two values gathered from each individual. For example, this point represents two values gathered from one of the students, who spent 107 minutes taking the exam and earned a grade of 83. The regression line can be thought of as the average pathway through the points. To better comprehend the notion of regression, Consider these three examples. Here we see a strong positive correlation between the time spent taking the exam and the grade on the exam, where lower test taking time is paired with lower grades and higher test taking time is paired with higher grades. In the second scatter plot, we see a strong negative correlation between test taking time and grade, where lower test taking time is paired with higher grades and higher test taking time is paired with lower grades. In the third example, we see a fairly weak correlation between test taking time and grade, where test taking time has virtually no correlation with the grades. Before running the Pearson correlation or regression analysis, there are three pretest criteria that need to be met. First, the data for each of the two groups should be normally distributed. We can check for this by observing a histogram with a normal curve for each variable. The second and third criteria, linearity and homoscedasticity, can be verified by observing the scatter plot with the regression line. This example uses the data set CH08 Example 01 Correlation and Regression Pearson.SAV. This dataset contains three variables. Name is a string variable, along with two continuous numeric variables. Time is the number of minutes that each student spent on the exam, and grade is the score on the exam. To check for normality, order histograms with normal curves for the two variables that will be involved in the correlation, time and grade. Click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Move time and grade into variables and click Charts. Select Histogram with Normal Curve. Click Continue and uncheck Display Frequency Table. Click OK and it'll process. The symmetrical curve on the histogram for time shows a normal distribution and the curve on the histogram for grade also shows a normal distribution. The pretest criteria of normality is satisfied. To finalize the pretest checklist, we'll order a scatter plot with regression line. This will also give us a more comprehensive understanding of the relationship between time and grade. Click on Graphs, Chart Builder. In the Choose From list, select Scatter slash Dot and select the Simple Scatter option. 
drag time to the x-axis and grade to the y-axis. Click OK and it'll process. To order the regression line, double click on the scatter plot and click on the Add Fit Line at Total icon. In terms of linearity, we see that the points lie in a fairly straight line. There are no unexpected curves or twists in the arrangement of the points. This satisfies the linearity criteria. As for homoscedasticity, we see that the field of points is thicker in the middle and tapers at the ends. This satisfies the homoscedasticity criteria. To process a Pearson correlational analysis, click on Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate. Move time and grade to variables. Click OK and it'll process. The correlations table shows a strong positive correlation of 0.815 between time and grade. We also see that the p-value is less than 0.05, suggesting that this is a statistically significant correlation. This concludes this video.